In this video, I want to share my thoughts on some of the biggest lies floating around in data science industry, which is causing a lot of confusion and disheartening among aspiring data scientists. Now, when I say that something is incorrect or wrong, that is purely based on my perspective. And it is quite possible that my perspective is wrong. But fortunately or unfortunately, my perspective is all what I have to offer. So that is what I'll be sharing in this video, working in the data science industry for over 10 plus years, both in San Francisco Bay Area and New York metropolitan area, working in different companies with different colleagues, having interviewed at a lot of companies. Based on all that information, I have formed certain opinions about different aspects related to data science. And in this video, I wanted to share some popular opinion or things being said in the industry, which conflict with what I think is true. So that is what I'll be sharing in this video. So the first lie, which I think is floating around is that getting into data science or landing a data science job is very easy. Most of these things being said are coming from some boot camps or some training programs which offer you some training with a promise that you'll be able to land a data science job in two to three months, even if you're starting from scratch. Now, it might be true two years ago, but in today's market, it is definitely very difficult to prepare and land for data science jobs, given that there is so much competition from layoffs and a lot of universities and companies are just not hiring that much. I've covered a lot of that in my videos that how difficult it is to land a data science job. Now, sometimes it might seem a little pessimistic, but I'm not trying to paint a rosy picture here. I'm trying to tell you the reality on the ground, which is based on facts I've gathered and my observations. Especially if you are a fresher, getting a data science job is very difficult. So do not fall for these false hopes that getting a data science job is very hard, especially in today's job market. But I'm also not saying that getting a data science job is actually impossible. If you look on LinkedIn, there are about 6,500 data science jobs which are open today. Most of these jobs will be closed in one month's time, which means there are four to 5,000 people which will get a data science job in 30 days from today in the US. That means hundreds of people are getting a new data science job every day. If hundreds of people can do something every day, there is definitely chance that you can do it too. So I'm not saying that it is impossible, but I'm also saying that it is not easy. Landing a job will require a lot of commitment and going through a lot of rejections on your part, which is very demoralizing. I totally understand it. So I'm by no means saying that you should not start a career in data science or start applying for data science jobs. It is possible, but go with your eyes open. It will require a lot of commitment and a lot of hard work and going through a lot of rejections at your part. Now coming to the second thing, which I do not fully agree with, is this opinion being floating around that you require a lot of rigorous math understanding to be a successful data scientist. Again, based on my perspective and my years of experience, you might need some math so that you can build a good intuition behind different machine learning algorithms. But that is pretty much it. Everyone can develop that foundational mathematical understanding, even if you have not studied a lot of math during your educational career. Most of the data science is around programming, which do not require a lot of math. It requires SQL, which again do not require a lot of math. Probability and statistics, maybe you need to know some basic mathematics. And then the only part which requires some mathematical understanding is when you are dealing with machine learning algorithms or deep learning. But again, if you have a good learning path and going through some good books, which help you develop intuition and how to use those machine learning algorithms, you can really become a very good data scientist and can actually pass FANG level data science and machine learning interviews without having a very deep expertise around mathematics. So if you do not have a lot of mathematical educational background like me, then don't be demoralized by this popular advice floating around that you have to be a math genius to become a genius data scientist. Now coming to the third thing which I do not agree with is that with the advancements of Gen AI and chat GPT being used pretty much everywhere and a lot of companies hiring for Gen AI engineer and prompt engineers, there is some advice floating around that you can become an AI engineer or a data scientist or ML if you just know how you can use the right chat GPT prompts to be able to solve most of the data science problems for you. And for that, you do not need to know programming because chat GPT apparently can write programming for you. And you do not need to know the fundamentals of statistics and machine learning algorithms. Now, I think that advice is totally wrong. You cannot 
become a good data scientist just by getting good at prompt engineering and using some large language models like ChatGPT or Google Gemini. I use these tools on a day-to-day -day basis and I fully understand what their current limitations are. Data scientists and ML engineers go much beyond prompt engineering and building some basic RAG applications. If becoming a data scientist was as easy as knowing how to write good prompts and building some basic RAG applications, then everyone could become a data scientist within a matter of week or two. But that is just not the case. You need to know much more than that. You need to have a good understanding of Python and SQL and statistics and a lot of other things to become a good data scientist. So don't try to come into this field trying to over index on the power of these LLMs, which can help you both learn and land a job as a data scientist. You have to start from the foundations. You have to develop some expertise in all the things which I said. You have to develop some expertise in the programming and statistics and ML, etc. And then gradually build your knowledge on top of that so that then you can understand that how Gen AI work, how RAG applications work, what is attention mechanism in the transformers, etc. And then you can call yourself a good data scientist and only then you will be able to pass most of the data science interviews. I've shared in the description the guide which I think provides a good roadmap on learning data science. Again, starting from the foundations and building a solid structure on top without spending a lot of time on learning mathematics, etc. which do not fully align with what is needed on a day-to-day -day basis. The link for that guide is in the description. And also check out this video in which I have shared what I think is the fastest way to become a data scientist using the roadmap I just talked about. The link for that video is somewhere here. Please check it out. Thank you so much for watching.